Now to a story that's nothing short of a miracle. Eight years ago, we introduced you to Everly and Hartland Perez. That's right. The girls were born conjoined at the abdomen and had a slim chance of surviving. But you know what? They did and continued to find the odds. Tonight, we're checking back in with the Perez family. News 4's Natalie Clydesdale, who's also a twin, has the update on how they're doing. They say twins have a special bond. I like to do what she likes and she likes to do what I like. Pretty much. That holds especially true for Hartland and Everly Perez. So I used to say, you know, you shared a lot more than that toy. You can share that toy, you know. They were literally bonded together. The twins shared their colon, bladder, and one main artery. For the longest time, it was just so many unknowns and such a scary time. Conjoined twins are rare, occurring only once in every 50,000 pregnancies, according to the Cleveland Clinic. And for the Perez twins, the chances the babies would survive were small. Up to 60% of conjoined twins are stillborn or die shortly after delivery. The doctor and he just came back in and said, you know, there's a complication and they're conjoined and stated that he had only seen this but um, one other time in 20 years, and they didn't live past 25 weeks in utero. Against the odds, in July of 2015, the family's prayers were answered. Hartland and Everly were born side by side, successfully separated at two days old after a complicated surgery that lasted four hours. It's nothing short of a miracle. And every month we would separate, celebrate um, just because that was so monumental to me. It's been more than seven years since News 4 checked in with the Perez family. While the monthly parties have stopped, there's a lot to celebrate. When they were two and a half, the twins went through another successful surgery, reconstructing their pelvises. There's one more surgery scheduled for this summer to enlarge the girls' bladders. Callie says it's the last procedure for the foreseeable future. Everly and Hartland are now eight years old. I'm tall, I see sort of, my glasses are pink, those are blue. Really anybody in our school doesn't think we look alike. They're thriving, living an incredibly normal life. I like to play softball and I like to go to school. They're your typical sassy, sweet, but sassy <laughs> girls. They go to 12 Academy for school, just a few minutes away from their home in Midwest City. I get to play with friends. Yeah. Um, and she doesn't have to get on to us. <laughs> they love playing outside, being big sisters to baby Georgia, and in typical twin fashion, they've got each other's backs. What would you ever do if someone was mean to your sister? I'd probably punch them. <laughs> Everly dreams of being a painter one day, and Hartland, a geologist. It's a been amazing to see them grow. They're eight now. So to see all the things that they're capable of doing that, but I didn't think that, you know, would we'd get to see. David and Callie know whatever their little girls end up doing in life, they'll succeed, no matter how high the odds are stacked against them. They've been given a hand which most people couldn't even consider. And they attack everything, every surgery, every little rehab or anything that's thrown at them. They have this attitude where nothing's going to stop them. Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. I love that. Oh, I love that. Callie wrote a book called Entwined, a story of wavering faith and beautiful miracles all about their family's journey. Uh, she's hoping to sell copies to help pay for the twins' college. Oh, we do have more on that, plus a link to a podcast with a more in-depth conversation with the twins. That's on our website, kfor.com.